Hi, um, I'm Sarah Novich. I'm the author of Girl at War, um, coming to you from Brooklyn, New York right now. Unfortunately, these are not my amazing bookshelves, but uh, fortunately they are the bookshelves of some of my best friends here. Uh, I'm babysitting at the moment, so as a great bonus, I get to kind of touch all their books and, and look at them, um, which, you know, for a writer is kind of the best thing ever. Uh, so I guess I'll just tell you a little bit about the book. Um, the very first iteration of the characters that you see in Girl at War I wrote um, as an undergraduate student at uni. Uh, I have friends and family in Croatia and I'd been living there and I came back to college, uh, came back to the States for college and I found myself kind of really surprised and frustrated that a lot of people didn't know uh, even that a war had happened. Maybe some people didn't even know where Croatia or countries from the former Yugoslavia were on a map. Um, and this was like mind-boggling to me, so I wrote this first short story. Um, actually, Anna at the time was a 10-year-old boy and kind of changed uh, later the more I wrote. Uh, but yeah, for me, so getting the story out was always kind of like um, coming from a place of personal anger and frustration, but also made me really think about the importance of keeping the book historically accurate, kind of sliding into the historical timeline of the war, even though the characters and their specific stories are fiction. Yeah, and, and that's also the reason why I chose to tell the story from Anna's perspective. I, I wanted it not only to be an informative book, but also something that made readers connect uh, on an emotional level and feel empathy for the people that uh, they you know, necessarily don't get to interact with on a, on a daily basis. I also think it's really important for people to have um, women and children's perspectives of war because, at least in the, the States, um, we think of war as something far away, kind of perpetuated by uh, soldiers, and we don't think as much about the way it impacts civilians. So that was a really important kind of thing for me to shed light on as well. But I guess um, one of my favorite things about having the book in translation is getting to see the different interpretations of the covers and um, the cover in Portugal is no exception I think it's awesome it's really cool um, and quite different from the American version sorry I don't have the real book on me right now which is kind of silly but um, this is what it looks like here and that's also what the hardback in the UK looks like they have a different paperback cover um, and I'm on Instagram if you're into that uh, I'm at Fotonovich so, yeah, um, I think that's it for me for now, but thanks so much for reading the book. Um, I hope you enjoy it.